Windows 11 start menu is boring, as we know. And today we are going to take a look at a really fun way of having a completely different aspect. And besides that, turning it really useful with shortcuts, not only for apps, but also for words, Excel, or any other app document that we use a lot. Everything simple and free, as I will share with you in just a few moments on my screen. Before we do, if you are using Windows 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find the budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. Just in case, the link will be down below. Now let's go straight to our desktop. We will need to download two tools which are free. The first one is Rain Meter, which we have used here in other scenarios, but today we are going to use to customize our Windows 11 start menu. So we just need to search for Rain Meter and then press the download button and there we go. We will also need Valley Start. So just search on Google for Valley Start and then you will have several links. I would suggest GitHub which you don't need to log in, you just need to go to the page and after that you will see the latest releases right over here. We can just press releases and then download depending on the time and day that you are watching this video. There might be a newer version so you can download that. You just need to press the latest one at this moment is 3.6, just press and it will download. For the sake of this video, I already have both of them right over here on my desktop. So let's install RainMeter first, select your language, OK, standard installation, next, and this screen you don't see because it's the authorization from Windows, but just press yes and then finish. Basically, this is it. Now, we don't need for today these skins, so just right click and say unload skin, unload skin, unload skin, you get the point, and there we go, we don't need this for today. Now, usually we get a green drop, but at this moment it's not showing, not really sure why, doesn't matter, if we double click, it will show right over here the icon, this is a skin for rain meter, so we just need to press install, leave everything as it is, and it will do the installation really fast, and when we get to this screen, we just need to select click to install, and it will start doing everything by its own. It's really well designed in that particular case. It will do everything for us. Now in this screen, we just need to press next, 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 but let's speed it up. Okay, once it finishes, we have several options right over here. We can download several tools. Today we are going to use Volley Start only, but if you want to leave these and try them out later, no worries. We can always install these modules later on and I will show you how. But at this moment, I just need to press the install and what the software will do is that it will open PowerShell automatically. It will install all the dependencies that it needs and when it's done, it will show us this screen. Now, we will be using Volley Start, but we can see here the different modules. Now, if I go to library, it will show me right over here what I do have installed. If I want to install, I just need to press here and it will install like I did said previously. And if we want widgets, we can do select right over here. Now, let's go to Volley Start and here we are on the menu. And one of the first things that we want to do is to activate. At this moment, if I press the Windows key, uh, it will show me the normal start menu from Windows 11, which is not the one that I want. So if I press right over here on activate, and if I wait one or two seconds and then press the Windows key, -da, we've got a different menu. Of course, this menu is not what we want because it doesn't have the shortcuts that we want. But before we cover a few things here, let's go to the layout. And on the layout, we've got four different options. Now, before we try, let me shut down this and close this. And if I press Windows 11 and wait for one or two seconds, now if I press the Windows key, it will show me this really nice menu. Now, for the first time that you do this, you will not have any icons right over here. The only one is Jack's core. But let's try this one right over here, which is the side bar. Now, if I press Windows key, we have this one. Now, it says sidebar, but if I go here on the menu and go to position, and I can do this to any, I can just say that I want here or I want here. And if I press the Windows key, even the sidebar theme will appear as a center theme. Doesn't matter. So you get the point. Now, if I go to layout once again and select classy 
wavy and press the windows key this one is probably one of my favorites really nice with these red colors and so on and the shortcuts for the monitor configuration and the apps and finally if we go to the flat and select one or two seconds to refresh and then press the windows key Chana, we've got right over here a really nice one with the CPU, GPU, RAM and no shortcuts in this particular one, but it looks nice anyway. So this will be a matter of just personal choice. Let's go for Windows 11 for now so that we can check out a few things, including how to put in shortcuts, not only for apps, but also for Word templates or any other projects that we use. And for that, let's go for the general case right over here. Once we select the first one, we can select a really important thing, which is, do I want to replace the start, which is working at this moment. If I press the Windows key, it will open the menu instead of the Windows or if I want as a separate model. So this means that at this moment, if I press the Windows key, it will go for the Windows menu. And if I press the Windows Q key, it will open this one. Windows Q, because it's what's selected, we can change that. But in my particular case, I want to replace Start and I want something else. I want to override the Start button. And this, what it will do is to create a button right over here, which at this moment is not visible. And of course, I can place this button anywhere that I want. I can configure right over here with the uh, these measures right over here. I'm going to leave it as it is. But if I press here, there we go. We've got the start menu. And if I press the windows, I still have this one here. So we have the choice to use both of them. But basically, this is the way that we can configure the button. Right over here, we also have a few options that you can then configure by yourself regarding the animation, the way that it does, slower, faster, and so on and so forth. But one that I want to share with you is the background, because we've seen one background that gets blurry. And if I press this button right over here, and if I press the Windows key right now, it will give me a blurry background, which is really cool. So if you want to use this one with a blurry background, you can do. You don't need to use the last one that we have seen and I don't remember the name. At this moment, I'm going to disable it and leave it as is like this. Now, one other uh, option is the position that we have seen already and we have the media option. We can also, um, if, you, if you press right over here, it will show you a um, detailed guide on how you can use Spotify and whatnot. So I'm going to leave that for you and we will see later on. But it's really easy. It will explain all the steps. We just need to copy and paste and so on so that we have a Spotify if we use. I don't use it on my computer, so that will be okay. So right over here, we have covered in terms of modules, we can download other modules and enrich this. And in terms of layout, we have seen. And in terms of appearance, we can also see the dimensions. Uh, we can change the size of what we are seeing. We can see the elements if we want more elements or not and finally we also have the background fill which we also have the option on the other menu that we have seen here the difference is that we have more details and we can change the main color the background color and so on and so forth but this is something that you can explore yourself let's go to something a bit more interesting in my opinion which is how to customize this right over here and for example if i want a word template here how can i do that let me show you something. If I press here, which is Chrome, it will open Chrome like any other app. But if I press the menu and I uh, select, I don't know, OBS, I don't have OBS on this computer because I'm not using OBS here. It's just a computer for tutorials. What happens is that it goes to a image. So why is this happening? Let's open the menu and let's press right over here on edit shortcuts and it will show me the shortcuts right over here. I can close this window for now. Uh, what we want to do right over here is to edit whatever we want. Now, let me delete this so that we can understand something. So no more Chrome right over here. So if I start it from scratch, which by the way, as I probably have said, you will not have all these icons. You will only have Jack's score. So you will need to add your own. If I press plus, I will be able to go to my computer, local disk, and then program files, and then Google, and then Chrome, and application, and select the app. And you can select this for any game, any app that you want, Photoshop, and whatever tools you use. Just press open, and it will give me the exact name of the app, which is Chrome, 
and it will open the app when we are on the menu as we have seen. But one of the things that I can do is if I want um, Chrome and I want to change the name, I can call it as I was calling it before, browser. Uh, and there we go. I've got instead of Chrome, I've got browser. If I want to change the image to, I don't know, you can download any image from Chrome with a different layout and then you just need to go to your icon that you have downloaded and then this particular case I'm going to give it the edge <laughs> the edge image so I've got browser and it's chrome but it has the edge icon so we can do a lot and we can customize the way that we want which is great in a really easy way besides this if I want to put it on the top I can and basically that is it now let me show you something else like this one right over here let's remove so just select and press remove shortcut and right now I want to add for example a word um, document so what I would need here is to open a word document I would select that and it will not show me a image for example so what I would want is uh, change image and I could select the word or publish or any other image that I want in this particular case let's select this one and it would have this image here and then I could change the name to my email template let me just temp one not really sure if it yeah okay email temp one and I could have email temp two and I could have anything that I want excel PowerPoint presentation, something, something that we use on a daily basis and we can have some right over here. So instead of opening words by its own and empty, it would open my email template, which is something that it's really cool. And basically this is it. And at any time I can just select change image. Okay. And I want this image instead. Bam. That is it. Easy as this. I would love to have this on the original Windows 11 that we could. When I'm happy with all these changes, what I need to do is just close. It will take about one, two seconds to program and refresh. And when we go to the Windows key, bam, I've got my email template here, which if I click, I will go to this word image because I did select that target. But in a real situation, it would open my real document. And if I go to browser, which is Edge right over here, but in true is Chrome, if I press it, it opens Chrome. So we have a lot of flexibility right over here. And with that, I'm going to finish the video. Hopefully it was helpful and hopefully it will help you to start up with the Valley Start. But there is a lot more to cover and you will explore a few more things. And then, of course, customize the way that we need for ourselves. And I do believe that that's the most powerful thing here on Valley Start with Rain Meter. That being said, if the video was helpful, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.